Hey, welcome back to another video for our list view demo. I'm showing you the finished product again of the app that we're building. And you can see that we have a custom adapter so that each person in the uh, list has a little icon, a name, and age. And so in this video, we're going to create two layout files. One is this special layout so that we have the picture and name and age together. So the uh, item person is what we're going to create in this, in this video here. So you can see that I'm going to create some objects here that are laid out as um, one line in the list. So this is, this is what we're going to be end up making. And then the other is the add new friend form. So this is a data entry form. You can see from here that we have a picture at the top and then three entry forms here. So each of those exists in its own layout file. So we'll be making that now. So now I want to create the uh, one line person layout. So let's go into layouts, choose new and layout resource file. So we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to name it person underscore one line. And uh, let's just leave it alone with the uh, constraint layout as our setting. And let's choose OK. So now imagine that we're just working with one line of data. So we want to have a photo and then we want to have two text fields. So let's go to the uh, image view. We'll start there. We'll drag him out. So now this uh, resources is coming up. It wants to know what kind of a uh, uh, picture you're going to put on there. So I'm just going to put in a placeholder. So I'll pick one of these icons that we've imported and you can see the approximate size of what it's going to be. Once again, the constraints, let's change the constraints. So it drags to the top of the edge of the screen and to the left. And so there's our first layout. So I'm going to put in a text view next, and this is going to be the person's name. So let's drag to the left of this one and drag it to the top. And let's give it a text holder. So let's call this thing, uh, let's just put in the person's name. Let's call him Adam. And so you can see that there's a name there. Now let's put in an age. So let's try text view again and drag it out. Text view is going to be stuck to the left of the, uh, the picture. And I want this to be to the bottom of Adam. Well, let's just put in the word age and colon. Now, we also want to be able to actually print the person's number in there. So let's put in another text view and we'll drag him out. So he's going to be stuck to the left and he'll be stuck to the bottom of Adam as well. So it's starting to get com complicated in here. Lots of arrows. So every once in a while you should go back and check to see if you're actually getting what you want here. So this text view is to the end of text view two. It's to the bottom of the first text view. Seems to be working. Now these are gonna get confusing unless we start naming these. So let's, let's first of all change the image view. So I'm gonna call it image view and I'll call it, uh, call it icon. Adam, I'm going to change that to text view to be name. How about the age here? So this is the age label. So we'll call it text view age label. And then the next one's actually going to hold the value. So we'll call it text view age value. And then down here in the text, let's put in a number. So he's 25 years old. So that's what one line is going to look like in our list. Now, I'm thinking ahead and I want to separate these lines. So let's go see if there's a separator somewhere. So layouts, horizontal, space. Here, I found it, it's in widgets. Horizontal divider. So let's drag a horizontal divider out and let's put him in place. So this is going to be to the bottom of the photo. The left will be the left of the width of the uh, whole activity. So now for the picture, I want to change this to a constant size. So I've got the um, height here. Let's change it to 100 DP. What does that look like? That's about the same. And I think that should work pretty well. And maybe a 66, let's do a little smaller. And the width, let's do also as 66. So let's stop here for this video. In the next video, we're going to create the data entry form, and then we'll be able to start coding our app with Java after that. 